Good morning, folks. Today we're hitting the snooze button on space weather after an inclement week. We've got some eye candy, brain candy, and more, and we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. And we find the last 24 hours on the sun continued sending the lone active region towards the departing limb on the north. De minimis coronal hole signatures complement the drop in solar wind intensity, which is most clearly shown top left at the purple line's descent. Plasma speed returns to normal range, and geomagnetic conditions are calm. With the lone active region departing on the north after a sporting but flareless jaunt across the Earth-facing heliographic longitudes, we also find those coronal holes lacking, and so we can look forward to a few days at least of this geomagnetic quiet to counter those storm conditions we had from the previous stream. Up first in the stories is the forecast for the rest of October in the United States. Both the temperature forecast and the precipitation forecast are found on that page. It's in your list of links below the video. We also have a shot from Hubble, and if it seems like it's a bit higher definition than others, that's because it is. You can see it best in the left half of the central bar shooting out towards the spiral arms, long exposures, and Hubble's clearest vision on this one. Up next... More eye candy as we come to the new simulations of processing radio jets and find that the spin speed versus outflow power ratio determines the contours and resulting shape of the cosmic jets. It's matching a lot of observational reality here. Link in today's list is to their paper, which has a link to these simulations. We're transitioning to brain candy, but it's not like this isn't pretty. Nested shockwave shells around a recurrent nova, but it's not two different events. It's the separation of the lighter gas from the heavier dust and nanoparticles, not only carrying lower speeds, but more easily trapped by the magnetic fields within the remnant system. Folks, we've seen this with other galaxies, and it is now confirmed here at the Milky Way. There is a helicity to the magnetic fields, and we're beyond models into observational evidence. This helicity was implied by the central current sheet, which had been implied by Faraday maps and gamma surveys, but in this work, they block out the central sheet and look for the direct evidence of that helix. Now this is important, because if you don't attempt to visualize multiple fields representing the shape of the system, and instead just trace one, it comes out as they said, in a helix. Now this helix is the polar field outflow of our star as well, and at our star, and at all systems set up with this polar outflow model, through the center runs the current sheet separating the north and south fields of the system. And we've come full circle. Of course, the rebirth of modern catastrophism in late 2018 led to the recognition of this as a major influence over our star, the near-space environment, the cyclical magnetic excursions happening every 12,000 years or so, and the turning of ages on this planet. Folks, many of you recognize this as the Mobile Observatory photo from the last conference, but if you look closely around the sides, that's not our website. You might recall MOVA was going to give away a number of their light-powered spin globes, and even though the conference was canceled this year because packing 600 of you into one place is no longer kosher, they just can't seem to help themselves. They are decided on giving away some of these amazing planets to you. And what do you know? Space Week begins tomorrow. MOVA will be giving away one of them every day this week. In the link list below the video, you have the special link for the observers. Just go enter to win. We greatly appreciate your support, and it's fun giving stuff away. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.